uh, this is Shubham and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about a blog that I wrote in Medium and uh, since I got a lot of requests from a lot of you guys uh, to upload a video uh, on all the blogs that I write. So yeah, this is the first one and we will pick up a blog from the Medium that I wrote and uh, let's see. So this is the blog, uh, it is about uh, uploading a file from local to S3 bucket in AWS. So uh, if you have gone through the blog then uh, you can follow the blog or I am um, just making a video experience for that. So uh, let's go and look into it. So for the code you can always go into my github and just type into subhmio. It will be directing me to this. So here you can see uh, there is a repository called this, and you can just download or clone it. So I'll be probably going with the download zip. Yeah, it's been downloaded. So let's go. I'll get it to my desktop so that it becomes easier. So let's see. Yeah. Let's see what's inside this one. So yeah. So I'll be explaining you all the code that I have written in this one and also a, a demo of the entire end-to-end -end process. So here you can see that there are files like app.py, helpers.py, static and templates these are the folders. So what initially we do is we will make we make uh, the flask application in app.py and in helpers.py you will find all the like the supporting or the utility functions which are required in and like when we'll require we'll just import it into our app.py and in static we'll put all the like css and all the javascript comp uh, components that are required if you want to style your uh, the html page that you have made so here in the templates folder you will get the index.html so let's see um, so we will go into app.py at first so here is the uh, code for app.py okay so let's uh, hop into our uh, main blog so that we can uh, connect better okay so here you can see that the step one Okay, the step one is log in into our AWS management console and go to S3 and click on create and this is blah 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 everything. So what we'll do is we'll go into the AWS cons management console, we'll go to S3 bucket. Okay, or you can just type into this search bar S3 and you will get go into the same part. Okay, let it open. Yeah, so I have already created this bucket ML bank project uh, 270995. You can similarly create a same bucket like uh, create bucket and you can do it like this. Initially, if you click on this, you will see that there is zero objects, it means there nothing has been uploaded here. So the our main motto is to upload. So uh, let's see the next step. So next step is like connecting to the AWS S3 bucket. So uh, this requires access keys and secret keys. So how will you get that? So let's uh, hop into a code first. See, this is the app.py and I'll show you. This is the helpers.py, okay? Open this helpers.py and go into Atom. Okay, so here is the uh, thing I have saved, like the S3 bucket name, if you can see this one, ML Bank Project. You can keep the name as uh, like whatever you uh, bucket name you create. Then in here I have put a hash mark because these secret keys are not made to be public. Like you cannot make it public. You will get a notification from uh, my it's from uh, yeah from Amazon and um, you have to take them down actually. So I'll show you how and see uh, if you go into AWS and click on your name here in the right top right corner and then you go to security credentials right now you go to the access keys here 
and you have to create a new access key if you just click on this then a new access key will be created you will get two keys uh, and which you have to put in this part that is the access key and a secret access key id secret uh, uh, key id and secret access key so these two things you will get from here by creating a new access key i'm not creating it here because of like we cannot make it public but i'll show you how it works in the video okay so um, yeah this is the second step uh, third step is uh, creating a flask app see in the in this image also you can see that while cre after creating you will get something like this access key id you will get here the secret access key is not shown here after you just create uh, like click on this part um, if you after you click on create new access key you will get to see both the keys so you can copy paste that okay so yeah let's go into step 3 that is a creating a flask app so uh, uh, for creating a flask app what you have to do is just uh, go here in app.py so here is the just import all the like the dependencies this is used for creating the flask applications like app is equals to flask name and this is the helpers.py which I have imported here for all the functions and there is only one function in helpers.py that is just upload files to s3 so this is this is the function that is required to upload a file to s3 you just have to give the user id a final file name data set folder purpose file these are just the parameters that i have taken which are which will be used in our function so uh, you can just modify it according to your needs and everything so i will explain to you what is user id and all the other things um, in a while okay so let's see um, if you are not familiar with uh, like the flask uh, how to make a web api or rest api with the flask then uh, i'll be uploading a video on that very soon uh, here uh, we uh, will go on a high level uh, description of the code and uh, yeah see if you um, like okay let's uh, do one thing we can just uh, run this code and then you can find out okay so let's see uh, we have this okay to keep the name a little bit uh, less cumbersome let's uh, do it like a flask underscore upload okay so inside this we have this right okay so we'll go from like cd desktop first then we'll go to cd flask upload okay and then if you do ls we can find this app.py so if we go to like python app.py okay so what you will get here is see see it will start running the application plus application and uh, you'll get the ip address yeah this thing you just have to copy and paste it into your browser okay then see if you just do this one it will give you a hello world message so this is nothing just uh, I, because if you don't if you just keep it till here then you'll get a hello world message and if you write an index then it will render the index.html that you have made so let's see what you have made um, so index okay so this is the page so this is like uh, you have to upload a train.csv test.csv and a user id see this everything um, like this is a data science channel and uh, everything uh, like more videos will be uploaded uh, with respect to data science and machine learning so yeah uh, this is just one of my needs <laughs> like uh, uploading a train.csv and test.csv later you have to fetch it from the s3 bucket and work in the ec2 or you can work in sagemaker or anything so yeah uh, this is this is what the index.html looks like like you have styled it with the javascript and all uh, like css and stuff okay so this is what and um, this connection you have seen uh, like uh, from here you have to download the credentials and all i'll show you this one later but not now uh, because we cannot make it public okay so see this is the interface that you just saw right now right yeah so this is the access key which I have put it in my uh, see the connect to S2, uh, AWS is the step four. So in helpers.py you go to helpers.py okay and here um, helpers.py yeah here you have to put the access keys that you have got okay. So in the same way I have blurred these 
not blurred but just highlighted this and you cannot see you have just blocked it because you cannot make it public again so uh, yeah so and these are the things yeah you have to just put it in here and you will be ab uh, like able to connect to the s3 with the help of boto 3 okay okay so yeah uh the step five will be upload files and just you have to just select it and you have to submit and you have to give a user id like why you are giving the user id is next question so user id uh, like it will be a uh, like series of folders that will be created okay like see i'm telling you in see the after the bucket name you will see folders in similar manner okay so like user one user two so like i am uploading something into the same bucket so if I my name is Shubham and your name is say Rahul or something so j my name will be appearing here like if I give a user ID of Shubham then it will be Shubham then data train.csv or test.csv everything then in, in this in this uh, folder structure you get like uh, Rahul and then other uh, the train.csv and test.csv so it will just maintains that so that it does not overlap so <clears throat> okay great so uh, uh, let's see then what we can do next is uh, yeah of course uh, we have to just copy paste the you know this part the access keys and the um, the secret access key okay let's go to the app.py and let's just uh, go let's uh, like walk through the code a little bit see <clears throat> yeah so what we are what we are doing here is if requested files train.csv and user id dot form so it is like um, only if you have given you have entered like this one if you have uh, submitted the train.csv or test.csv and you have not left it empty or you have not missed any part out of these three so we have given three here uh, two here so let's extend it to something called and this is test.csv okay so test data set and uh, you will be wondering like uh, how are, am i getting these names right this is the key value pairs which you will get in the index.html from where the data is coming like this is mapped right so this thing is mapped to this you are rendering you are rendering this index.html and from there you are pulling data into this flask application so this thing you will get in the same index.html so let's go to index.html and show you the parts okay um, okay wait a second yeah so in index.html uh, if you go to this uh, see this is the part the name is equal to trained data set which you are entering into this app.py uh, app this is a trained data set and similarly for test data see this is a test data set this part the name equal to test data set. select test cv to upload this you can see in the browser select test the, uh, .csv to upload and this is mapped to this name and this name is mapped to app.py where you'll be uploading your uh, where yeah like you're rendering the index.html and that input is uh, just caught here okay so yeah these are the list a uh, few strings that i have uh, made uh, for making your files unique like if you are uh, handling a csv in the like with respect to if you are if you want to uh, like make them unique uh, mostly what practice is maintained is like uh, putting an hour or a seconds as the last of the string or the last the last part of the name of the csv or something or some file so that it is uh, made unique because every second you make a file right okay and every second will change and you'll get a unique file so here we are reading the data from the user and this is the uh, data okay and this is the user id we are just uh, receiving it from the that browser the user is entering okay and then what we are doing is um, these are nothing but just a few utilities that I have made these are like um, if you have a, a file name called a.csv then it will just uh, separate them with uh, like like you will get a a in here and a dot uh, like a csv in here like the extension you just separate it and if it is used like um, if you want to make some changes later or something uh, anyway so this is nothing um, so what you are doing is first you have to save your csv to your uh, local folder okay so this is used here uh, wait 
here this line the train dot data dot csv that you receive from the user you dot you, you do a dot save oriented path in this upload folder see this is this what um <clears throat> in in helpers.py you can see all the folder names that you uh, you can see here upload folder is desktop flask s3 uploads and uh, yeah so i think uh, we have changed this this is flask uploads okay so this will be flask uploads most probably okay let's see flask upload okay it's not upload okay you have changed this name this is the folder structure where it will be saved like uh, this is uh, flask upload okay and then let's see um yeah everything is uh, fine let's uh, hop into it okay and if you are not giving like the if you are missing out any train.csv or test.csv from the browser then uh, most probably you'll be getting this error um say uh in invalid file okay you'll get this error called invalid file because this is the else part of this if okay okay so let's see and if you are successfully uploading it then you'll get this uh, answer is files are uploaded to s3 files uploaded complete internals where if you're not so if it is not uploaded because of these reasons inside and the reasons inside are like in this part like upload files to s3 this function if you if you're failing in this function then you'll then you'll, then you'll get this error invalid uh, files upload incomplete internal server error. okay and here we are calling the upload files to s3 function from the helpers.py we are passing the user id train the final name that you want to keep of that file okay and the train dataset folder and the train like um, just to classify between train and test data sets I have just men mentioned this uh, train and test and this uh, this part is very useful like if you go to help us.py you can see I am just changing the uh, folder structure in the s3 bucket like a user id trained and, and you can see this uh, both are different okay so it will make two folders with respect to what you have sent like if you are if you're sending a train or csv then uh, see if you are mentioning a train here then it will make a folder structure in the form of this one and if you are mentioning test here then it will ma uh, maintain a folder structure of this as you can see here okay yeah <clears throat> and um, these are the uh, inbuilt functions of this uh, s3 client this s3 client is nothing the boto client that you have created this is the boto3 client which is used to connect to the s3 and this uh, we need a delete object we need a put object and we have to just remove this is what you are doing is uh, you were uploading this file from the local and you are removing it from the local okay there is uh, no need to keep that file in the local system right if oh path does exist like if you have that file in your local system then just remove it because it has already been uploaded using this function okay okay so okay so let's uh, hop into this and like let's uh, run this file and <clears throat> okay okay so let's uh, choose something out okay spot yeah okay so actually it will not work because I'm showing you why it will not work because we have not yet provided uh, see I'm going to put a show on here okay see internal server because it is not able to upload it why it is not able to upload it because we have not yet provided this with this one right the access keys and all Okay, so let's go to our destination. Okay, there you go. So we have this. <clears throat> so actually, what we are doing is we have to. See, if you see in the code, we have a folder structure in the same form of this one: desktop flask upload, then upload EML automation, right? And then we have a folder called train dataset and test dataset, where it will be stored, like. You are uploading it from the browser 
you have uploaded a csv file from the browser that will be saved into this folder desktop flask upload upload aim and automation and then trend in this folder okay and after that from this folder it will upload it to s3 so we have another error that we have made that is um, we have not created this folder yet so let's create a folder here okay inside flask upload we will create this folder called upload sorry upload eiml automation here okay and we'll gonna rename this to eiml automation and then inside this we'll create two folders with the names of this trained data set and test data set okay so let's go and let's create it um, trained data set and another one with test data set and finished we have created these two files okay next what you're gonna do is we'll be uh, fetching out the access, key, access keys from the uh, like s3 sorry aws and then we'll be putting it okay here so let's go and just uh, put it where i am yeah here so i'll be like uh, fast forwarding this video or maybe blurring it or maybe uh, i'm gonna take you directly to the results where i'll be running the code after putting it okay so yeah guys uh, right you can see here that i have put the key id and the secret id in a variable up and then i have just uh, substituted the variable names here because again we cannot make it public so yeah i'm hiding it from you guys but i have shown you the trick uh, and again i'm gonna show you this thing like if you go to aws management console and go to s like uh, go to this part and security credentials you can see that i have created one but um, yeah wait a second go to access keys here you can see that i have created the access key you can see the key id but uh, you cannot see the secret key id so i'm safe <laughs> so okay so since we have uh, created this and then i have put it into our code here okay i have made a variable two variables and then i have substituted them and i have uh, put them here so this part is complete and also we have made a minor change as we start in the uh, like saw in the video like we have up uploaded we have uh, made up all the structure like this okay and these two uh, folders will be empty all the time because uh, what we are doing is when you are giving input input from the like from the browser from the user end it will go into these folders the csv will be uploaded to this in the local and then again from here it will go into the s3 bucket and it will remove it as per the code here this part okay it will remove it if it is uh, uh, already there in the local then it will just remove it from the local and because it is already uploaded to s3 bucket okay so i think we are ready to go and um, yeah we can start this again okay so we're gonna do this so we are gonna clear and then we're gonna say python app.py okay okay it's running please run fast yeah got the localhost id just copy paste it into our browser okay again you have to write an index as i showed you before okay so this is the interface that you're getting so yeah most likely you'll be selecting a uh, train.csv say i'm getting these two files and there i have test.csv okay with us so here i'll be creating a user id say shubham here once again okay and we'll do a submit so okay it's running and i don't know how much time it will take because i don't remember maybe a few seconds okay we'll wait okay yeah so you're getting a message like files are uploaded to s3 as per the message that i have given here okay in app.py um, files are uploaded to s3 this is the result you're getting okay so uh, we should always check <laughs> that it has been uploaded to s3 or not so i'm going to this we're going to s3 again okay um let's go to aws we got to type on to s3 um okay and the like the initially in the video i showed you that it was empty and it has zero objects inside that bucket so most probably it has been uploaded and you will see at least one object okay mm. here you go the, this is the bucket that i've created earlier uh, let's go into it yeah see you're getting 
a shubham here okay and there is only one object here and if you go inside shubham then you can see that uh, this the data and uh, shubham then data and then after data you will see test and train folder inside the train and test folder if you go you will be, uh, get to see these csv files and you can see the size also it has been uploaded okay so uh, this folder structure right this uh, bucket name then user id then data this i have mentioned it in the code itself uh, if you go to helpers.py and you can see here see user id then data then train then this you will get the csv files so you can make your own folder structure as per your need okay so yeah uh, that's it uh, i think this files has been uploaded also you can see the overlapping that i have mentioned before see um, okay let's uh, see uh, if i want to upload another file okay see i'm i'm selecting the same file but i'll be selecting a different user id see i'm doing a rahul here okay and then i'm doing a submit again it will take a few seconds to run uh, okay we'll wait yeah i think it's completed so let's go to this and we'll do a refresh here okay see uh, after refresh you can see that uh, there is no overlap and since the files are also the same so because of the because of your the folder structure the trick then you're able to separate based on the user id okay so two different folders are created inside rahul you can see again the data again train and test again inside train and test you can see the train file and test file so uh, yeah that's it uh, for this video um i think there is nothing more that i can explain in, into this um yeah um yeah everything is covered app.py right and also you can see this um this is the HTML page okay all the HTML codes are written here here you can see that the scripts that are written here okay um, uh, it will be required as per your requirements uh, if you want to use it you can use it you can, if you don't want to design your HTML then you can leave it it's all up to you and uh, yeah uh, in study you can see the JavaScript and CSS codes here here is the CSS here is the JavaScript that you need okay since in, in this uh, project you don't need any of the JavaScripts here only the CSS part is enough if you want to like uh, do some dynamic thing uh, in your front end then obviously JavaScript is required okay so yeah that's it for this video I hope you liked it uh, please uh, do subscribe to my channel and get tuned because uh, there will be more exciting videos coming up in future and and all these videos you know all, all are required in day-to-day -day life in a like a journey of a data scientist or data of a, or any uh, software engineering role in a, a, organizations so these are really handy and um, i hope you like this video once again uh, you can visit my medium blog channel in uh, in the uh, uh, like in this medium and you can go there and you can uh, just give a crap and also you can uh, like and subscribe and comment to this video thank you bye bye